past few weeks, fuel has been a scarce commodity in Nigeria. The reason is said to be an unsafe quantity of methanol found in petrol. We are here at Ijai Road to ask the people how fuel shortage is affecting them. The fuel scarcity on this country is terrible. So people are wondering because of fuel scarcity. Any fleet station you went, you go. Every year was blocked out. They are not selling fuel. And they have increased fuel to 180. Before we are buying 160. But now fuel is 180. To get the fuel is war again. We, we in Nigeria, we didn't mind the price, but to get it is war. We have been experiencing it over and over. So this is Nigeria. We can adapt to any system. The government really know what they are doing. You understand? So to me, it's a wicked act from them. They know what they are doing. Is it the kind of this out at, at time they should break up this kind of thing? Are they going to tell us we didn't have any solution to what the problem is now? You understand? But or the problem is God should just intervene. That's all I would say. The first scarcity is affecting everything in life because it's affecting movements, vehicular movements. It's affecting um, now you don't have consistency in um, electricity supply from the utilities. So you need you need uh, fuel for your generator, and now the fuel is scarce. So it's affecting all strata of life, and uh, it's very serious, quite serious. What I can say about the fuel scarcity is it's really affecting those. <clears throat> and with that, I think even though I was going to Kenya the other day. And the normal tea fare for Ikeja was 100 naira, and they have decreased it to 150. So it's really affecting. It's really affecting, and it's somehow irritating. We don't even know. We've heard how the fuel shortage is affecting our people. It's affecting their daily lives, their business, and their movement. We hope there's a solution to this very soon. My name is Aki Emigres, reporting from Pay Radio Life.